This presentation aims to explain the difference between electrical, electronic and mechatronic engineering. It is important to point out that while these degree streams have individual distinct features, there is considerable crossover in the underlying fundamental expertise. We will start with electrical engineering. Electrical engineering refers to the process of conversion, production and distribution of electrical power. This covers a range of different applications, from electrical machines used for propulsion in an electric car or a small electric aircraft, large generators in modern wind turbines or conventional hydropower plants, transmission towers carrying overhead power lines to transport electricity to where it needs to be consumed, to modern renewable power generation such as solar power stations and beyond. Electronic engineering. You may wonder what an F1 racing car, a fighter jet, a mobile phone and high-end medical equipment have in common. They all use electronic engineering technology, i.e. low-powered circuitry with decision-making capability. This allows us to create intelligent devices that can interpret inputs from hardware and based on an algorithm designed by an electronic engineer, perform a desired action by sending appropriate commands to hardware. A good illustration is the Eurofighter jet shown in the top right image. The craft is intentionally designed to be aerodynamically unstable to allow greater agility in flight and uses a complicated electronic control system for its aerodynamics to maintain stability. Finally, Mechatronic engineering is a combination of electrical, electronic and mechanical engineering. This refers to integrated electrical and mechanical systems in a single intelligent device. Mechatronics is today perhaps best known as the driving force behind the current boom in robotics. While mechatronics is much more than robotics, it is fair to say that robotics is a flagship application of the mechatronic expertise. The architecture of a typical mechatronic system is shown in the bottom far left image. It comprises an actuator at the core, which is used to enable motion of a robotic device, such as for example a robotic arm, and is typically a small electrical motor in modern robotic applications. The motor is connected to a mechanical gearbox used to amplify its output force to allow for higher ability in delivering motion. The system also requires a feedback device to provide information on the actual position and or velocity of the actuated object. Finally, the control electronics interpret the feedback device signals and use this information to decide which action is needed to achieve desired object movement and hence send appropriate control signals to the actuator. Mechatronic systems are widely used in robotics and other industrial applications. 